how the Shepherd family, who lost seven-year-old Christy and six-year-old Bobby, got just one-tenth of that, uh, £350,000. Um, everybody's talking about this story today. Um, Gloria, you were quite disgusted when you came I, this I am, morning. actually, and, of course, these are my personal um, opinions. And I've been shouting at the TV in anger all weekend because words like horror, shame, a company tarnished forever... Um, is my opinion. And I think it's tragic that for, for these poor people who had to not only lose their gorgeous children, but they had to remortgage their houses in order to fight this battle against this monstrous company for almost 10 years now. And all the time we've discovered, well, we've just discovered this weekend, that all the time they were sitting on 3.5 million pounds, which they got for well, I have compensation to say, for loss of interest. Now, the thing is, I know that they're legally entitled yes. to apply for that, but here's my opinion. I don't think it's ultimately about the money. It's about the moral issue, it's how they handled it. And my opinion, they handled it really badly. No apology as yet. Um, I mean, Which they not awful. say, Gloria, they, they couldn't they or couldn't or wouldn't apologize I'm assuming for during a lawsuit because they by saying we're sorry is like admitting guilt. guilt but Ruth here's and the they're point. saying you it wasn't you cannot, the actual Thomas Cook but you can't live behind bad fault. PR companies bad lawyers if that was the case you can't live behind that these companies have to be a caring organization they have a duty of care which they uh, cut across when you go to book a holiday whether it's in a hotel at, at some kind of little cabin in a garden or in this case a villa they have to have a trustability that when you hand your money over to them, you make the deal with them, that it must be safe. And it's no good to say, oh, well, the hotel didn't check. They have a duty of care to check that their hotels are all right, that in this case the villas are. Do you agree? Yes. I mean, there's no question. And, and therefore, in the end, no money will compensate for the loss of these angelic children. No money. But it's the principle of the thing that they sat on three and a half million quid and these people were handed out 330,000. But Well, they say, moral. as you said, we, we had a statement from them today and they said we had the right to reclaim costs. That's their legal Legally, right yes. related to the trial from the hotel. The costs incurred by the company far exceed the amount that was received from the hotel. So they're saying it cost them more. But it doesn't matter. In the end, this is a moral back. issue about the loss of children and the fact that, in my opinion, they did not check with the holiday company that everything was tickety boo. And clearly, the sorry. clearly, legally, the, the, the blame lies with the hotel, which is why Thomas Cook got the payout that it did. But you're right, morally, this is a, a company that sells family holidays. And you can apologise to these parents without taking the liability, if you like. They, they could say, you know, we are terribly sorry for, to these parents for their loss etc without taking culpability and and as the the mother sharon wood said it seems that our children's lives are worth only a fraction of thomas cook's reputation mm -hmm. and you know this is terribly terribly damaging for this country well, their and reputation course, is tarnished probably because they didn't yeah. say sorry and we're sorry you know and the parents happened. i gather they've written to the parents the since parents then. only got three hundred and fifty thousand because they were advised by their lawyers to settle because of course the money was coming from greece they were told that the greek economy was in the toilet and that they should settle now and just take what they could yeah. otherwise they might not get anything at all and it's like the, it's the classic case of the, the, the small people against this big yeah, yeah, yeah. situation. Yeah. And, and you know and what it is for me more than about the money, actually, <coughs> is the fact that right from the beginning, nobody actually came up and said, we are sorry. Yeah. Shocking. Sorry this happened that to your children. Sorry mm. for your loss. Sorry, sorry for, for you. Yeah. Because really, it's not, it wouldn't matter if they gave me three million or 30 million. That's not going to well, change the Well, nothing brings those children no. back. The, no the amount other technical money. point is, you know, I don't know how many of you have got alarm systems attached to your boilers or anything like that. For the carbon uh, monoxide. But the carbon monoxide, yeah. the thing is that this is so cheap to buy and in the 10 years that this has been going on, it, the law in Europe has not changed. These fittings have not been put in near the boiler and I mean I think we all actually have them in our own uh, homes. Well I don't actually but having talked I this do. morning yeah. I think it's certainly something I'm going to look at.